Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today's video is going to be a very magical vlog and I'm going to be showing you some Christmassy bits around the house and kind of just taking you guys along with me for the day. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So yes, today's video is going to be a very magical vlog. I want to show you all my Harry Potter Christmas trees and all the decorations that I have up around the house and everything. And I have a couple errands to run, so I'm going to take you guys along with me to get my hair done, which is actually already done now. This was yesterday, so this is going to be like two-day vlog. And I do have some Christmas presents to wrap, so we'll do all of those things. So let me bring you back to yesterday when I was gonna get my hair done. So I'm outside my salon right now and I'm going to be popping in. I'm just refreshing my highlights and then doing a little trim maybe about an inch off. So I'm gonna head in, I'll bring you guys with me as we refresh my hair. All right, so I am officially back home. It is like a little past 5.30 right now. I'm loving my hair, but I had to run a couple errands before I got back home, so now it's a little later than I intended. But I still wanna show you some of my Harry Potter Christmas trees all decorated. I'll show you my Christmas lights outside here. I have to grab my groceries that I got from Sprouts. And I also wanted to show you I met up with one of my girlfriends. We met up at a gas station. We were just both out and about, and she's like, I have something. And it's this hot cocoa bomb. It's a white peppermint hot cocoa bomb. Like, look how good that is going to be. Oh, yum. And I need to get everything inside, so let's head in. <laughs> So now we're officially on the next day and I have some things I need to wrap up and I want to show you all the Christmas decorations around the house because I didn't get the chance to do that yesterday. I did show you the outside decorations, but let me show you the inside decorations and let's get to it. So first off for the Harry Potter Christmas decor, I wanted to show you my festive bookshelves. This is what's been behind me in all of my videos so you can get a better close-up view. I did put little bows on the buildings. That one's got a wreath on there for the Weasley shop. It's so cute. Down here on the year two shelf slash Weasley shelf, <laughs> the burl is all decked out. The Weasley cart even has a Christmas tree on top. It's so cute. And then down here, we even have a little bow on this monster book of monsters. And then down here, we have some more bows. So we've got Dumbledore with his green bow, a little red bow up there, and then we've got the red bow on the horse here. So really cool. Loving it. It does cut off right here, but you can't see that behind me in the videos. So I didn't go back out and get more of this. I just got these at like our local dollar store. So very inexpensive, cute, easy way to kind of make my shelves a little more festive. Here's a more backed up view of that. I had this out in my living room, but I just brought this in last night. Since I'm gonna be having some guests over, I wanted to free up the table out there. But I did keep the wreaths on, because they're so cute. <laughs> Even this headwig up here has a Santa hat. <laughs> and now over on my gallery wall, I used some extra of this on some of the picture frames and on the shelves here. Oops, this one actually. It's falling down. I just used tape. <laughs> that's fixed. So that's how it looks on these floating shelves. And here's kind of a backup full view. And now over here, the Christmas tree inside the Harry Potter room. So mainly here we have the Honeydukes tree. And to give you some close-ups, Got a little like knitted star from Target. Here is the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans ornament from Universal. Some DIY chocolate frogs I made last year. And then there's like assorted candy kind of ornaments on here. And those are all from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Any of these like licensed ones are from Universal. So this is the Honeydukes Window Shop. I really loved this candy ornament. It reminded me of like an acid pop. 
And then we've got the Gryffindor chocolate frog, Godric Gryffindor. We have this chocolate frog. You can see that. I love this one. It's very heavy though. Some more candy ornaments. Down here we've got the Dumbledore chocolate frog. The more DIY chocolate frogs. And then here is a newer one I got from Universal. And then I do have another one of these. <laughs> and then here's this little Gryffindor cauldron that my friend picked up for me when she was over in Italy. We love these lollipop ones too. And here's another one my friend got while she was in Italy and it's of the night bus. I thought the colors went well on here, so it's on this tree. But that is the Honeydukes Christmas tree. I'm obsessed with it. The ribbon really makes it and the ribbon is from Universal as well. And then we've got Bella over here snoozing. She loves this spot. And if you're wondering, I did upgrade this Christmas tree. Last year it was three foot and now I got a six foot flocked Christmas tree. And then this one is a Yule Ball one. So I made some DIY ornaments, but I didn't make them in time to show the video before Christmas. But let me know in the comments if you want to see me make some of these. I could still put out the video after Christmas. I made these ones as well. These ones are my favorite. They're so pretty. Like, look how cool they look. So yeah, I do have a Yule Ball Christmas tree too. And then my Mirror of Error set I also decked out. Ooh, we need to turn on those candles. I do have a remote control for the candles, so it makes it so much easier. And Lumos. <laughs> I love that. So it does have like a timer and you can make it brighter, candle-like, light-like, all of that. So really love these. I got mine on Amazon. And then I put this garland around the Mirror of Error set. We even got these little golden snitches that light up around it. But here's kind of more of a back up view of it. I think it's so adorable. It's my favorite. I love dressing this up for the holidays. So this is what it looks like for Christmas. And then down here, we've got some snow and some more Christmassy bits. So this is a newer Charmed Aroma candle. I showed it on my Instagram, but I don't think I've showed it on here yet. Super pretty, and there it is, the candle inside. It's also a snow globe, and it did have a surprise jewelry inside it. I need to put a tea light in here, but this lights up, and it says Christmas at Hogwarts on this side. And it just has the snowy owl or Hedwig <laughs> over Hogwarts. And I think it shows up a little better once I have it lit up inside, but I need to get a candle. And I also have this Christmas ornament from Pottery Barn Teen. It does light up like a warm light. I think a cool light would have looked better for this like Yule Ball sculpture, but it still lights up and that's fun. <laughs> And that's kind of how this whole setup looks. And if you would have saw my Universal haul, this is the frame that I showed on there. And I put a picture in there, of course, of me, my husband, and my dog, Bella. <laughs> it's so cute. And here is more of a backup view of everything all together. It's so pretty and fun. I love the trees here. I need to get like another tree for this corner, don't you think? <laughs> have another theme, but really loving it. And that's basically everything in this room that I have to show you that's all Christmassy. Here's my suitcase. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of everything. This has become a catch-all of things I need to show you guys still and whatnot. But that's about everything. I still need to hang up this too, but I want to hang it right here, I think. So I was waiting till after Christmas so this tree wasn't in the way. I just turned off one of my main lights and here is what it looks like more so in the dark. It's so pretty and then there's even some lights here for the shelves. So that is my Harry Potter room all decked out for Christmas. Now I want to wrap some presents. So the present I still need to wrap is Bella's stocking gifts. So we usually fill up her stocking full of goodies and I like to wrap it because she enjoys unwrapping things so it makes it more fun but I usually just use like tissue paper for her and I do have a couple things I like to take all the tags and stuff off so she can just like play with them immediately but I found this at my local pet smart and it's a like build-a-bear workshop dog toy and they were on clearance for I think like five or six bucks 
really cute because she does tend to destroy most of her things so I try to spend no more than like five dollars generally when I buy her dog toys occasionally I break that rule but <laughs> I also got her these little Kong tennis balls and they do squeak she might come running <laughs> okay she's still sleeping and then I got her this stuffed bone and she loves these she just like gets the inside out and then she still loves to like chew on these and they're great for her teeth. And then last but not least, I got her this little hide a squirrel toy. So she loves these like little burrowing toys where you like stuff them all inside this and she has to like pull them out. And anything like tiny, she loves tiny toys. She loves to run around them. Oh, she's coming. <laughs> you can hear her now, I don't know if you can hear her. So let me take all the tags off, wrap it and stuff it inside her stocking and that's everything I got for my dog. Since I don't have kids, I definitely spoil her to bits. So let's do that and then I'll show you my other Harry Potter Christmas tree that I have out here in the living room. It's all like gold themed. All right, got all the plastic off of this one and this is basically how the toy works. It's just empty and then you stuff it with the little squirrel squeaky toys. And she's going to love it. <laughs> She'll go crazy. All right, this is my wrap job <laughs> for my dog. I just use one piece of tape and it just looks like that. She'll really go to town on that. So it doesn't have to be fancy. It is for dogs. Now for the little Build-A-Bear. And there's her second toy. And I'm just gonna wrap all of these together. Ta-da! This one I'll keep wrapped in, in, in here like this because I don't want it to get in here. So I'll put that one in first. I don't even know if these are gonna fit. She's probably gonna need help getting these out. All right, I stuffed it all in here. This is how it looks. <laughs> and now I need to go hang it, but I'm scared if I keep it out. It's where we hang it, it's just like on our TV console, so it's close to the ground. I'm afraid she's gonna try to take them out. She might stuff this out, so it might have to stay on the counter for now. I also wanted to show you this Home Goods find. It's this hot cocoa kit. So it comes with a wand to stir it with, and then these are color changing hot cocoa. So it changes into the color of your Hogwarts house. And it comes with a total of eight in here. And it was priced at $12.99, which I think is kind of expensive for like single serve hot chocolates, but hopefully it's really fun. And I, lo I loved the packaging. I thought it was really cute. So did pick that up. I do want to try it out. Maybe we'll try it in today's vlog. And now I need to clean this up and then I'll show you the other Christmas tree. But before I show you the other Christmas tree, I wanted to show you the sweater I'm wearing today. So this one is from Lumos in Leicester and it says, come on, cheer up, it's nearly Christmas. So that is the sweater I'm wearing. I think it's really cute. And now let me show you the Christmas tree. Here is the gold Harry Potter Christmas tree with the golden snitch right on top. So it's kind of same as what I did last year, but this year I made sure to stick to like pretty much just my gold ornaments. So there are a little bit of differences and I've got some new gold ornaments from Pottery Barn Team to show you. But I also need to turn on the little candles, so let's do that. Lumos. I love anything that's like battery operated. <laughs> It just makes things so much easier. They do have a timer too. So you can set it for a six hour timer. And I got these little clip on candles from Michaels, if you're wondering. And they do flicker, but I feel like they're flickering even more because it's camera. So starting on top, we've got the golden stitch that's from Pottery Barn Teen. These gold stars are from Target. These big gold ornaments are from Target. This is from Universal. It has Hogwarts in there. It's like a stained glass kind of look. We've got this Mirror of Era said picture frame from Pottery Barn Kids. And I got some of my Pottergram friends when we all met up at the Virginia Forbidden Forest event. So fun. Here's the Elder Wand, the Sorting Hat. All these gold ornaments are from Pottery Barn Team. This is an ornament for Troy and it does light up. Right, here it is lit up. So this is his ornament, it's a Star Wars ornament, really cute. This is also from Pottery Barn Team. The golden egg, this golden cauldron, and it's metal. Really love this one. This is an old DIY golden stitch I've made. Platform nine and three quarters. 
If these ornaments are still available, I will link them down below too, so make it easier to find. And here's my Gryffindor frame with my husband, Bella, and I. This headwig it was from Amazon. Here's a universal one, the Hogsmeade sign. This time turner is gorgeous. The sand even runs through. So cool. Here is a mirror of error set mirror. Hello. <laughs> We've got a Hufflepuff bell. I have all four Hogwarts houses in these bells somewhere around the tree. I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Marauder's map from Amazon. Deathly Hollows. Here's another framed one from Pottery Barn Kids. This is one of my universal trips with my husband. A muggle-worthy one. Here's the Gryffindor bell. Got another one of these. Elder Wands. One of my favorites from this year is this Monster Book of Monsters ornament from Universal. Here's a Hogwarts Railways one. This is from Universal. They still have it, but I got this one years ago. Here's a Firebolt ornament from Universal. This one's also from Pottery Warrantine and it's so pretty. They had like three of these this year. And I got this one because it went down on clearance to I think $14. And they were retailed at $30 starting up. And it does light up. So here's this one lit up. Super cool, very heavy. Here's the Slytherin Bell, so we're still missing the Ravenclaw one. <laughs> We've got a Nimbus 2000. We've got a Hogshead sign. I've got this little flying key. I think I got this from an Etsy order, like they just threw it in. Can't remember though. Got this golden head wig holding a letter. Here's another framed one I still need to put a picture in, but this is from Universal. Here's another sorting hat, but this one's from Amazon. And I found the Ravenclaw bell. So I think that's everything on this tree. It's definitely a favorite of mine. I love the differences between the honeydicks, it's like super colorful, and then this one's like mainly gold. They're really fun. Let me know which one is your favorite. I also got this gold tree collar this year, which goes perfect with the tree, and I found that at Big Lots. And then I popped this pillow in this basket and I got this from Pottery Barn Teen last year. And a hang up this stocking where it goes. So we've got Troy, Bella, and then T for Tiffany. So I think they look cute together. And those stockings are from Target. They kind of give me Weasley vibes, like the sweaters. So I think they're cute. I kind of wish I got all green. So I'll try to sub some of them out to get just green next year. And then here is like the TV console, how it's set up. That is the clock I got from fun.com and I just have it flipped around. The star gives me like magical Harry Potter vibes, but I got that at Target. Same with the little candle holders. And this does light up, but it's on a timer, so I don't want to mess it up. So I'm not going to turn it on right now. It'll turn them on by itself soon. And then here's another ornament, but this one is super heavy, but it's so cute. So I just put it over here just to play it safe and I think it looks good up here. I also popped up this mistletoe. It's probably full of nargles <laughs> on this little archway. That's where my Harry Potter room is. And see the doors open and the Christmas tree lights are on. <laughs> and that's just a bathroom and that's another guest room. This is where the Hogwarts castle used to be, but I took it down, just kind of gives us more space. So guests can kind of like put their purses and things up here when they come over for Christmas since I am hosting. So that's kind of all the Harry Potter Christmas decor I have around the house right now. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know what your favorite tree was between the honeydukes and the gold Christmas tree down in the comments. But I want to show you a Christmas gift that one of my best friends exchanged with me and it is so amazing and so nice. And I want to know if you guys would like to see me do like a full unboxing of this. It's an advent calendar but it's a really cool advent calendar. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what it is. But let me know if you'd like to see a full unboxing here on YouTube. I'll like make a dedicated video to it, but let me know if you'd be interested. This is the advent calendar. It is a lush advent calendar. And let's open it up. Look at this. I wish you could smell it right now. Like it already smells amazing. There is a full 24 days in here. Oh, the lid wants to keep shutting but this top layer has one through 12. And then once you go through all of these, there's gonna be more down here to unbox. So I already opened up day one when my friend was here. And it's a bath bomb. And it looks very colorful. I wonder if it's gonna make my bath colorful. It's so cool. 
So that's basically like what they are. I think it's like bath bombs, body products, you know, stuff that Lush carries. So let me know if you want to see it because this was such a kind gift. I was so blown away. I cannot believe she gifted me this. So I'm excited to unbox it and I would like to share it. So if you're interested, just tell me. <laughs> So last night, my husband and I exchanged our Christmas presents. So today is the 23rd, so it was the 22nd last night. So we wanted to do it before, like we had guests over just so we could just exchange them between us and then we'll do our exchanging with our guests that we have, but it's basically just our family members. <laughs> and I wanted to show you one of the items that he got me because it is Harry Potter related and they are Harry Potter Crocs. They're like fuzzy ones and this is the Vera Bradley design and it's got like magical creatures and things on it so here's a little christmas bow uh what are they called croc charms or something and then this side there's a golden stitch croc charm like how cute are these i love these little cornish pixies you've got a sleeping fluffy they're really cute and they are fuzzy and I think Crocs are like the really ugly, cute, like it's so ugly, they're cute. <laughs> and they're just so comfortable, I love them. I use a pair daily with my dog when I take her out. She's sniffing actually currently her stocking. She knows something's in there now. <laughs> but yeah, every time I take her out, I slip on a pair of Crocs. So now I've got some Harry Potter ones that are really cute and comfy. And I'm really happy about that. So that was a great gift. He also got me some perfume and then some stocking stuffer things. So this one really cool stocking stuffer that he got me and that I think is a great idea is this box cutter. So it's like an electric one and this will really help when I need to break down boxes because I do get a lot of packages here. So I think this was kind of like a sign of like, please break down your packages. I'll make it easier for you so you can put them in the recycling bin. <laughs> But it is really cool. He got it on Amazon. And then he also got, because I love my candles, these really cool little candle accessories. So this is to cut your candles wick. And then this is a lighter. So you can see, pop it open like that. And then when it's all lit up, you can see this power button here. How cool is that? It lights your candle. So I think he did great. And he had some candy and gift cards and little other bits in my stocking as well. But I think he did amazing and I'm really happy. I feel super spoiled this Christmas. And I hope you guys are having a very happy holidays as well. And I think you'll be seeing this maybe Christmas Eve is when I'll get this up. So it'll be tomorrow. So I need to edit it tonight. If not, you might see it on Christmas Day. So I'm just wishing you and all of your family a happy holidays this season. I'm not wrapping it up just yet. I still have a couple more things I want to do and show you, but just wanted to say that. So if you do celebrate the holidays, I hope you guys are all having a very lovely time, but yeah, I am enjoying it. My family should be here tonight. They are getting here in a few hours. So my parents are staying with us because they don't live in my area. They just live a couple hours north. So they'll be staying with us and then we'll have everyone over. So my husband's family and everything on Christmas day. So that is our schedule and I'll pick up with you guys in a little bit. So I have these little twinkly lights and I want to put them on this green garland that I have on top of my cabinets. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you how it turns out. <gasps> Bella! I knew this wasn't gonna last long there. I guess she's opening her presents now. What is it? What she got? What is it, Belle? All right, going back for the tennis ball. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute. Is that your new baby? to tag on. She's back at it with the stocking. She knows there's something else in there. Let's just help her. Get it out. Get it out. What is it? Oh my 
fish just fell out. What is it? She's like, no, what else is in here? I think she might be able to smell the bone. Oh my god. Alright, that's your bone. Alright, Belle, was that a good Christmas present? Did you like them? I think she did. <laughs> Alright, so you got to see me wrap it and her unwrap her Christmas presents. <laughs> I love it. It came out so good. I'm so glad I added those. Wow, what a difference. And now this one has gone through all of her toys. So I've got some tissue paper to pick up. She's got all the squirrels out. <laughs> Let me put this stocking away. Now that she's done. And that's it. We've gone through all our gifts. <laughs> so I've been doing this sock advent calendar that I got from Target. I just finished it. And I'll show you all the socks, but like this is what the inside looked like. It's very cutesy. They're kind of hard to open, so some of them teared. But here are all 15 pairs of socks. I just went ahead and finished them, but I've been unboxing them like every day over on Instagram. But they're very like cutesy. <laughs> and some of them are very Christmassy. Like I love these ones this one very wintry and it's got a lot of representation for like all Hogwarts houses which is nice so you've got some that have all of them on the same sock or you have each pair and they're just really like fun like they're fun different colors you don't always see they even had the like Harry and Ron Christmas sweater design golden snitches this Hogwarts letter long pair of socks and they do have like long ones and then these short ones mixed in it so I thought it was fun and I just wanted to share with you all of them once they were unboxed. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look at her paws. When my parents get here with their dog, she probably won't like sleep the entire four days that they're here because they're bringing their dog and they just play the entire time. So I need to let her get this nap in <sighs> before they get here. They hit some traffic, so they won't be here for a little bit longer. So you might hear my dryer, but my timers just went on and you can see like my candles and stuff are lit up. So I want to show you those now. Over here, we've got some lights going, little twinkly lights. And then over here, we have the garland with the lights on now. And the candles are on now, so everything is lit up over there. I need to pop something on the TV. So if you go on HBO, and you type in Hogwarts. Okay, there it is. This pops up. It says Hogwarts Holiday Fireplaces. And it will have each Hogwarts common room fireplace. Like how magical is this? It has some music, it's got some fireplaces. So I like to just pop this on and enjoy. Like if I'm cleaning or whatnot, I'm gonna have this on in the background. When I have everyone over for Christmas, I'm probably gonna turn it on. I do wish it was longer, but this starts with the Gryffindor common room and then it will change into the other common room. So you kind of like see the door to that common room and then you go in and you see like their fireplace and stuff set up. So it's really fun. So if you have HBO, I would recommend checking this out and just having it on when you're kind of just like bopping around the house, like cleaning or whatnot. It's really cute and magical. Bella has joined me. <laughs> she is so cute and sweet, but yeah, so I'm gonna have that on. I gotta finish up cleaning a little bit. My parents should be here soon. And yeah, I just wanted to show you that because I think it's fun and I just noticed all the lights turned on. So now everything is on. <laughs> Here's the Hufflepuff common room. And now we're heading into another one. The Slytherin common room. Sorry, I didn't catch the Ravenclaw one. This is my little hot cocoa station, but what I wanted to show you is that Bella also has an advent calendar and I'm going to give her day 10. I had a total of 12, so it's kind of off. <laughs> oh, 
Look. <laughs> she loves it. Found this one at Target. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's magical vlog here. Definitely let me know what your holiday plans are down in the comments below if you celebrate as well. And as always, if you like today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!